Adam Lavelle, the wrestling snob from WrestlingDoneRight.com here. Go to the site to get the links to all my socials, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, where I only talk pro wrestling, just like I'm talking pro wrestling done right here, the WWE, from this past Friday night, SmackDown, April 26, 2024, Friday night. This next segment kicked off with Bianca Belair being introduced, coming out in the midst of a roaring crowd. Now, I'm going to admit to you, I didn't love Bianca Belair for some time when I got back into WWE. I thought she seemed forced. I thought the gimmick seemed a little bit fake. If you see her outside the gimmick, she looks a million times better. I still agree with most of that, but her wrestling is so well done that I'm pretty much bought into her for the most part here. I'm a bigger fan of her than I was a fan of her. I wasn't generally a fan at all. Now I am. She's being spoken to about her upcoming tag team match at Backlash this next weekend. Here as I record this on Sunday, April 28th, where she will team with Jade Cargill to take on the Kabuki Warriors, Kyrie Sane, and Asuka for their WWE Women's Tag Team Championship. And she goes on and says how she's ready to take those titles, how it's time for someone to put damage control in their place, that they're already falling apart, and this will cause them further grief and troubles and issues by taking those titles off of them. And at this point, the Kabuki Warriors have heard enough, and they are out. Kyrie Sane and Asuka holding their titles aloft, getting in the face of Bianca Belair. Now, there's no um, physical, no physicality here, but it's just a little taunt to the audience of what they're going to get. But of course, Jade Cargill makes her way out because she's not going to allow anything to happen. And if it does, she's not going to let it be two on one. So they're in each other's faces. Again, the titles are being shoved in the faces of Belair and Cargill. But as this is happening, the fans are excited about it. You know, this should be a solid tag team match. Cargill still green. But working on it and being with Belair should help her a lot. But as they're taunting each other and, and flexing, literally, and getting each other's faces, in the background, from the curtain, from gorilla position, burst out onto the walkway, the entranceway, if you will, Kevin Owens and Tama Tonga going at it. These two are just, talk about fight forever. Not a big fan of that chant, but these two have just non-stop brawling since several segments ago. They make their way to the ring. Solo Sioka is there, and now the double team is on. Bloodline taking down, taking on, taking out Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens is too stubborn for his own good. This is a two-on-one attack. Normally, I told you Bloodline gets their own attack own segment but since they burst on to this segment with the the women tag team title discussion i threw them in this segment because it started in this segment and as they're fighting down randy orton's music blares out over the pa system he makes his way to the ring uh pounds into tama tonga gets him out of there jumps into Solo Sioka, gets him out of there right before he hits the RKO. Solo escapes, and he and his MFT are backed off by security as Orton and uh, Owens, sometimes want to call him Steen as a former big-time Ring of Honor fan, um, are in the ring looking at the bloodline, ready for the challenge, the bloodline promising them they're going to regret this. And this is just whole segment was hype for Backlash, and I thought it worked great. The tag team matchup, the women's tag team matchup should be solid. Hard, hard to pick a winner in that. And this matchup here should be Katie Bar the door insanity. Kevin Owens and Randy Orton taking on the bloodline. I mean, that should just be a wild brouhaha, if you will. Nothing much to say about these two segments other than they work. They did their job. This is what Wrestling Done Right is. You want to use your television spots to promote your pay-per-views or PLEs in the PLE, the Paul Levesque era. Great job here again, Triple H.